If you are planning to visit the smallest, yet one of the most beautiful countries in Central America, the first country to adopt Bitcoin, then this video is for you. Today, we bring to you the top 10 best sightseeing attractions and adventurous things to do in El Salvador. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Number 1. Visit the Santa Ana Volcano El Salvador's biggest attraction is the Santa Ana Volcano, which is the country's largest and most active volcano last erupting in 2005 and throwing car-sized stones for more than 1.5 kilometers. Usually, hikers enjoy the 1.5 hour journey up from the picturesque San Blas Plateau to the 2,381 meter peak of Santa Ana, which offers amazing views of the surrounding Cota Peak, Caldera, and Izalco Volcano. The views from the peak encompass the entire national park, but the surreal landscape found at the summit of the volcano is equally remarkable with hikers able to stroll around the rim of the crater looking out over four nested calderas and an emerald green crater lake. Number 2. Have fun at the Lake Cotopique Lake Cotopique, located on the outskirts of El Salvador's Cerro Verde National Park, is a stunning blue pool tucked beneath the summits of the Cerro Verde, Izalco, and Santa Ana volcanoes and surrounded by sloping sugar and coffee plantations. This is the country's largest lake, measuring about 6 kilometers in length and formed in the crater of an ancient volcano more than 50,000 years ago. It is home to a diverse population of catfish, guapote, and zebrafish. Not only that, but it's a peaceful vacation spot for both locals and visitors. The most popular activities at Lake Cotopique are swimming and water sports, which include sailing, kayaking, water skiing, and scuba diving. Number 3. Marvel the beauty of Cerro Verde National Park Cerro Verde National Park is one of El Salvador's most stunningly beautiful locations, with its trio of volcanic peaks surrounded by thick jungle, a huge network of hiking paths, and the neighboring crater lake of Cotopique. Hiking is the most popular activity among tourists to the Cerro Verde National Park, and all three of its volcanoes, Izalco, Cerro Verde, and Santa Ana, are easy to reach. Hikers scaling the now extinct Cerro Verde volcano will encounter a top cloud forest full with colorful bird life, including hummingbirds, jays, and green toucanets. Number 4. Spend a day at National Theater of El Salvador. San Salvador's majestic National Theater of El Salvador, built between 1911 and 1917, is not only a local attraction, but also a national monument and Central America's oldest theater. The 650-seat theater, which hosts an ever-changing lineup of classical concerts, plays, folk music performances, and art workshops, is still the beating center of Salvadorian performing arts today. Number 5. Revisit History at Joya de Seren Archaeological Site The spectacular ruins of Joya de Seren, a pre-Columbian Mayan farming community dating back to AD 600, and El Salvador's only UNESCO World Heritage Site, were discovered in 1976 and have since become one of the country's most visited archaeological sites. The buried settlement was kept in near-perfect condition after being buried by ash following an eruption of the Laguana Caldera volcano. Today, the site has exposed the ruins of over 70 structures, 10 of which have been excavated and are visible to the public, including storehouses, kitchens, workshops, a worship area, and a temescal, ceremonial bath. Number 6. Enjoy at El Bocoron National Park The wildflower-covered slopes of El Bocoron National Park, with a trio of peaks situated around the impressive volcanic crater of El Bocoron, form a picturesque hiking site, and at less than 30 minutes drive from San Salvador, it's a popular day excursion from the capital of El Salvador. The vistas are a main attraction of the trip to El Bocoron, and there are several vantage locations to select from. Number 7. Trek to the Izalco Volcano The Izalco Volcano, located in El Salvador's Cerro Verde National Park, is the country's highest point and the park's most visually appealing peak. It's also one of the park's most difficult hikes, taking an average of 3 hours to reach the top at 6,404 feet. Izalco is a young volcano in comparison to other Central American volcanoes, having only erupted in 1770 and continuing to erupt until 1966. 
the volcano's violent eruptions turned into a natural beacon for seafarers off the coast of El Salvador, earning it the title Lighthouse of the Pacific. Number 8. Visit the San Andreas Archaeological Park El Salvador is rich with history. Around 12,000 Mayans lived in a town in the Valle de Zapotin, dominated by a step pyramid between 600 and 900 AD. Historically speaking, San Andreas was a commercial city and the regional capital, according to archaeological data. The settlement received goods from as far as Honduras, Belize, and Mexico. San Andreas had residents until 1200, and then the abandoned city was covered in a volcanic ash from El Playon in 1658, preserving many of the site's ancient features. The archaeological park now features a museum with relics from the pre-Hispanic and colonial periods. Number 9. Tour the El Imposible National Park El Imposible National Park, the largest of El Salvador's four national parks, is also home to one of the world's most fragile ecosystems, providing shelter for a variety of endangered wildlife and plant species. El Imposible was named after the treacherously steep canyon that claimed the lives of many travelers and mules throughout the years. It is located on one of the country's most important and historic commerce routes with about 250 bird species in the park, including rare species like the Great Curacao, King Vulture, Turquoise Browed Motmot, and Black Crested Eagles as well as Pumas, Tigrilos, Wild Boars, and a diverse variety of butterflies, wildlife spotting is a favorite pastime. Number 10. Check out the Metropolitan Cathedral. The iconic white Roman Catholic Church of El Salvador may not have the same old-world architectural charms as its European equivalents, but it is nonetheless a gorgeous monument and testament of San Salvador's highly devout heritage. The landmark cathedral, which was once the site of a terrible massacre in which around 40 people were killed during a rush at Archbishop Oscar Romero's funeral, now provides a haven for serenity and tranquility for tours to this capital city. On a visit to the country's most famous cathedral, Visitors can sit in peaceful contemplation, light a candle, and gaze at the gigantic paintings depicting episodes in Christ's life. If you want to know more amazing travel tips and discover stunning destinations in Central America, make sure to check out our next video.